Remy, wake up. Remy, wake up. It's daytime. You should be awake. Wake up. And who sleeps like this? Remy. Remy, wake up. What's wrong? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, I just, I have a question. Okay. Well, um, uh, last night, I think Adam flirted with me. What? No way. Adam and Sai sitting on a tree. N no, stop. My gosh. It's not like that. It was just, he was, you know, he stayed after the party and then he was like, oh, you look nice. And I don't know, is that flirting? <laughs> you think that's flirting? Yes, I mean, he said I look nice. What else is that supposed to mean? Maybe he was being nice. Personally, that skirt makes it look like you got peanut legs. What? Then why did you let me wear it? And what does that even mean? What the heck are peanut legs? Don't think too much into it. I don't even think Adam has a heart. I'm sure he does. He's still a person. Ugh, whatever. I'm gonna go work on this little pig thing, okay? You just stay here and... Feed pigs, I guess. I'll leave the carrots in there. Okay. Tell Adam I said he looks nice. <laughs> oh, I hate you right now. I'm going to go do this. All right, we're going to go over to the forest and try to get some wood so we could start working on the little pig cows that I promised um, Remy. Okay, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't think it was flirting, but I kind of thought it was. Here is Adam at first. He seems like a jerk, kind of, and then he says something nice. Maybe he just needs a friend. I don't know. Maybe he was just being nice. Maybe I'm overthinking it. You know what? I'm going to listen to Remy. I'm not going to think too much into it. I'm going to leave it alone. But if I'm being honest, I kind of feel like it's going to make things a little bit awkward between us. I have some plans, not like anything major, but um, a lot of the villagers were complaining about uh, mob problems and stuff like that and I thought you know what it makes sense they don't really have any kind of protection so I thought you know what it would be nice to kind of build a wall around the village and I really would like to get to work on that especially since you know I'm living here now and I kind of I don't know I care about the people here so I was thinking about asking Adam if it's okay to build this wall, but now I don't know. I've been avoiding him. Um, I saw him walking around the house and uh, I'm just like, yeah, let's just pretend we don't see each other, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm not, I don't want anything with Adam. I, I really don't. But I do, I do need to ask him about the wall and I don't know how he's going to be. So we're just going to have to wait and see until I ask him about it. But everybody else seemed really nice in the village. Um, I don't know about the twins. They, they seemed nice enough, but as time was going on, they kind of were really into the people they were talking to. And they kind of just ignored me a little bit, which I don't mind. Maybe they were just having a good time. I still don't feel like I know everybody in the village, but it was a nice little introduction at least, I think. So I'm gonna, let me see. I, I think I have enough, um, wood now to at least get started on it. Cause I am not gonna have these pigs in my house forever. They gotta get out. <gasps> There's a donkey as well. That would be good to have. That's another thing. We need to start taming these animals. Um, the pigs. Or the first thing I need to focus on. And this. This is dangerous. I still need to fill that in. I'm going to need somebody's help though. This is too much for me. And then um, I don't want Adam to think that I'm doing all of this, these things around the village. And then he's going to, he might think I'm overstepping. Uh, he might feel like I'm trying to take control. And I don't want to give off that impression. I do want to help the village. But at the same time, I don't want to insult Adam by being like, well, you can't run in this village properly. So I'm going to go ahead and switch things around. I do think having him on my side and having him as a friend would be good for me and for Remy and, and just in general, uh, rather than have him as somebody that is an enemy. Like, I'm not saying he was an enemy in the beginning. He wasn't mean to me. Like, it was, I don't know. I wouldn't say he was mean. I would say he was a bit stern and a bit serious. Um, but I do want to become his friend, if not just to get some information from him. We still don't know why he owes people money. 
Um, he still, he always seems a bit stressed out if, if I'm being honest. He always, I don't know, maybe that's where the whole meanness is coming from. And that's why he's so serious because he, he could be really stressed out about whatever it is that's happening. But I don't want to get involved, but I do want to know what it is because I don't want a war breaking out someday in this village and then me being surprised when it happens. I need to be prepared for anything that, that's going to, you know, go down. So. Yeah, so let's start working on the little pig thing. Ah, I don't know if I have time to build anything crazy, anything big. So I was thinking of doing two options. I could either get this wood. Let's turn some of these into slabs. I might just build a wall first and then eventually build the house inside of it. Uh, even though I know Remy won't let them stay out if it's not covered over. So ugh, this is going to take so long. She should be out here helping me. That's what she should be doing instead of making me do this by myself. Who does she think I am? Let's take this down. I'm going to try to build like a nice little wall that the pigs can't get out of. They could walk underneath that, so that can't go there. What if you do this? And then do three this way like that. And then... And then, and then just do that around for like a box and stuff. I think that would be good for the pigs. At least temporarily. That'll be the main thing. Let's get this this thing up and then we'll we'll put them in here. That might even be nice for the horses and stuff. For like a horse stable. Alright, let's finish taking all of this down. And then we'll get it. Oh! I think I saw... Oh, we gotta name the pigs. We have to name the pigs. Um, Yesterday, Remy told me she traded with one of the villagers. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Heath. Um, and she got some name tags because she wants to name her little pigs and stuff. And I don't know what the heck she's going to name them, but we got to name them today. Because we can't just have pet pigs and not name them. We have to. It's like it's like the rule. It's the, it's the code of pigology, you know? We have to name them. So as soon as I finish doing this, we're going to go get Remy, get the pigs, and they are going to get their names. I'm really afraid of what she's going to name them. With Remy, you just never know. But one thing that's really surprised me about her is that I never thought, like, when I first ever saw Remy, I never thought we would be friends. But there's just something about her that she's she's just so likable and harmless. She's that I think that's the best way to describe her. You, I can never picture Remy doing anything anything bad or anything malicious to hurt anybody and that that's one thing that it's nice it's refreshing you know before i was always worried about what everybody's intentions were whether they were good or bad and it's like what you see is what you get with her and i like that i don't like her like making adam and i boyfriend and girlfriend only because of one word but st because he said i look nice but still <sighs> We're just gonna leave it. All right, so for now, this is what I'm gonna do. We could actually put a roof on this and then it'll be both little walls and stuff and it'll still have shelter and stuff. So what I would like to do eventually when I get more resources and things like that is put make this a huge animal farm like half this where am i going to go in and out from though i could put a little gate here i think i already have one as well so we could have a little gate here like this yes so eventually have this be huge go all the way around here and then half the barns inside of it so that the horses or whatever this could be like their free roam area and then they could have a little area in the front where their house is oh, that would actually be really good so like say this area here in the front if i expand it further this way i built their house and that is their little roaming area it's getting late oh hey sheila how are you i got some food if you would like it do you want some this is a good way to win people's hearts always going for who is she married to nico oh, okay you're such a good friend oh thank you do you want me to tell you a story <gasps> i didn't kill the sheep i did but i didn't mean to I had to, I had to get some beds. I hope you don't hate me now. I'll tell you a joke. Oh, here, just have this, this other steak before you go. Oh, Sheila hates me now. Ugh. 
let's go to Remy and see what she wants to name the pigs and then have them go in their little shelter. All right. And we might be doing it in the morning because it's going to be nighttime. It's going to be cold. There she is sleeping, standing up again. Oh, my gosh. All right, Remy. The pig's house is almost done. We still need a little top over. But what I was thinking, if they get cold, what we could do is we could make some hay bales and they could cuddle up to that. I think that would be good. But I know you wanted to name the pigs. Wait. Remy, did you let them have babies again? Oh my gosh, now we have six pigs. What are we going to do with six pigs, Remy? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so what do you want to name the pigs? Piggly, Wiggly, Stinky, and Timmy. Wait, you're serious, aren't you? <laughs> you know what? If that's what you're going to want to name them, I'll let you. But you're going to have to get more name tags for the babies now. Uh, all right, so let's get them all named and then we'll take them upstairs. All right, so they're all named now. Let's go upstairs and show them their new home. And look, whenever you miss them, you can go visit them because it's only in our backyard. So come on. Let's go. Help me get them in here. Look, where, where's the rest of them? Did they all get trapped? Where are you guys? Come on, we've got to go. Oh, Remy, you have to come help me. We've got to get these pigs up. Come on. Come on. Come on, Wiggly. Wiggly. Wiggle your bum out of here. Come on. All right. Thank you, Stinky, Tibby, and Piggy for listening. See? Oh, oh, we're, are we all here? Perfect. Oh, no, the babies. We have to be careful. Come on. Let's get up. Why are they having... We're going to end up having to destroy our house to get these pigs up. You know that. Come on. This is going to take forever. All right, they're all coming out now. Perfect. Come on. Remy, I feel like I feel like I'm enticing you with the carrots as well. Okay, perfect. We've got them in here. We only got two more. Only two more left. Ah, there you go, Wiggly. Who's left? Piggy, come on. Come on, Piggly and Wiggly. We can do this. Come on. You go one at a time. One at a time. You can do this. One pig. How? How'd you get out? You little babies. Let's 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 take this down. I'm gonna end up breaking my whole entire house. All right, perfect. Let's go. They don't want to listen. Your pigs aren't listening. Ah, there we go. Come on. We could do this. Let's get in here. Look at you guys. Perfect. So we got all of you in here. They got all this free place to roam. We'll make them some hay bales for tonight and it'll all be great. And look, if you want, you could even come outside and sleep with them. But we might have to hire a guard or something because the rest of the villagers are going to want to eat your pigs. So we're going to have to be careful. And Remy, do you think I should talk to Adam about what he said? <laughs>